So for today, I'll be showing you how to make this straw hat. It's surprisingly a lot more simpler than it actually looks. So let's get into it. Now we'll be making a procedural hair group, which will be changing the basic background to this straw hat effect and make sure to put this straw hat texture as well as the ribbon texture for later both into their own separate presets otherwise it'll just look like normal hair so we want to make this graph down below look as straight as possible to make the hair straight like through and through so now we'll be tweaking around with the offset parameters to make the hat slightly bigger than your head and continue to tweak until it looks just right. Just make sure to move the top of the hat as well as the hem above the ears, otherwise it'll just look wrong. So now we'll be changing the intervals to spread out the hair. And we will also be increasing the amount of hair so it covers a wider area. So while adding a few minor adjustments, we will eventually get rid of this gap by adjusting the interval ever so slightly more. This time we'll be making a freehand group, which will be to which will be used to make the outer part of the hat. And once you're happy with the placement, you can start by drawing the outer part of the hat. So like earlier, we'll be making a graph section flat again. It's also a lot easier to draw this part from a bird's eye view and then you can subtly adjust it unless you've managed to do it straight away on your first go. But as you can see here, my first attempt at doing this looks too narrow. So we're going to end up making the outer parts of the hat a bit wider and thicker. So with enough tweaking of this, you'll eventually have a nice looking outer section of the hat. And once you're happy with the outer part of the hat, we can now start 
on making another freehand group for the ribbon. And for this ribbon part, it's just a simple task of slowly drawing around the hat while spinning the angle. And if you need to adjust it, you can always click on the control points or or to delete the hair and retry again. And once you're happy with the outcome, well done. And you can use some of the techniques you learn in this to create other types of hats too, or even beanies if you wanted to, just by changing the color texture. And thank you again for watching.